This is an Alfa Romeo Mito 1.4. It's a multi-air distinctive. It's 2012 on a 12 plate. It has cruise control fitted as standard and also park assist. Uh, there's a radio CD, also auxiliary input for um, your iPod. The radio plays MP3s as well. It has the DNA uh, system which Alfa fit in most of the cars. Um, dynamic, normal and all weather. I've never tried it in all weather in all honesty. Normal, fine pottering around town. Changing into dynamic around town you don't really notice the difference apart from the steering goes tighter. However, on a country road when you put in D, especially when you're in third gear you really notice the difference so i'll try and demonstrate that i'll just make sure it's in normal at the moment which it is and uh, then we'll set off A little indicator on the dashboard telling you when you should change gear. But for the purpose of this uh, test drive, we're just in third gear at the moment. My foot's steady. I'll change into dynamic. Just press the button and you feel the lurch forward. The, the whole car takes on a different persona. The steering's tighter. The accelerator's more sensitive the whole car feels sharper. Which is quite handy on these country roads. Lovely to drive. The engine sounds very, very good as well. For a 1.4, it, uh, it really makes a nice noise. We'll just try, we'll just put the windows down. into second that's a good noise for a 1.4 it is a nice little car to drive in fact I prefer this to the Giulietta and there's more room by the side of the clutch pedal to rest your foot um, and I feel more comfortable in it. really is a nice sporty little car and reminds me of the old Nova SRs and Nova GTEs when they came out in fact if I'm not mistaken the uh, Mito shares the same floor pan as the Corsa and uh, also the Fiat Uno but is a little bit more stylish than those two really lovely engine sound for a 1.4 it's very very pleasant to drive Switch the cruise control on, shows you on the dashboard.
move the stalk up, that sets it. I'm assuming if you, yep, if you hold the stalk up, it continues to accelerate to a speed that you set it to. And again, if you press it down, it decelerates. Touch the brake, knocks it off. just show you how to sync an iPhone to the Bluetooth system or the Blue and Me system in the Alpha Romeo Mito. It may take a while because I've got to learn this L first. So here we go. First of all, menu. Scroll down, media player settings. Select user data, user pairing. Select. To pair up, look for the blue and me with your device and insert the pin code display. Okay, so it tells you the pin code. There's blue and me. I'll just check you can see it. Yep, there's the blue and me picked up. So click on that. the dashboard 5418 5418 pair connecting that's it it's uh, according to the dash it's paired according to the phone it's paired it's as simple as that one word Welcome. of warning to use the phone book it is necessary to copy the contact on the vehicle continue Yes. Copying. Wow. Okay. One more thing. Word of warning. Um, I did try and do this, although I probably shouldn't have done on the way home. It will only let you pay your phone when the car stopped. The settings option doesn't appear when you're driving. Uh, but it's very, very simple. 